You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Hi, you're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Go Girl Scouts! For the community, by the community. Hi, I'm Sarah Connor, and you're watching Life and Style with Sarah. On tonight's show, we're going to be talking about some strategies for having healthy holidays. And I'm not talking about avoiding the flu or avoiding those nasty colds that are going around. I'm talking about the seemingly inevitable, unavoidable, extra few pounds that sneak up on us by the time we hit the new year. My guest tonight is Lisa Schramke. She's a personal trainer and a nutrition expert, and she is also the owner of Ladies Workout Express and Gravity Central on Park Road in West Hartford. Hello. Thanks for joining Thanks me. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited about this. Good. Um, when we think about entering into the holiday season, Thanksgiving is, is coming, and then all the rest just very falls fast. very fast. What, what do you tell your clients to think about, you know, even if they're starting from scratch or if they're, you know, well into a good routine? What should you be well, thinking I think the mentally? the most important thing is not to get too stressed right now. If you've had a goal to lose weight or get healthy or mm -hmm. start a healthier lifestyle, you've had it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And try to change some behaviors now that will help you make a change and affect your change long term but won't inhibit you from having fun in the ho during the holiday season. Right. You shouldn't be in total denial right. of We like to of call it using a SMART strategy. Okay. And the, the S stands for be really specific about what kind of goals you have. Okay. And if you want to cut out sweets or you want to uh, cook more healthy or mm -hmm. get the junk out of your kitchen, you know, your mm -hmm. pantries, do things like that and be really specific. Exercise more, drink more water. Um, and then we want so not just, I want to lose weight, or I don't want to right. gain weight, I want to maintain. It should be very, how am I going to do that be specifically? Specific because then you have, mm -hmm. you have a conscious train of thought that you're, you can apply to everything that you do regarding your health and lifestyle. Okay. Um, and you want it to be measurable. You want to be able to say, I want to uh, change my portion size. Okay. I know I eat too much, so during the holiday season, I'm going to try to eat everything I like, but eat a little less of it, or mm -hmm. give up some sweets, or okay. don't bring sweets into the house, which is one of the things that people do. Uh, they eat, you know, they bring sweets into the house. I always say, have your desserts at a restaurant. Have yeah. good desserts. Don't waste right. your calories with Hershey bars. Right. Um, so you want it to be measurable, and you also want it to be attainable. So saying now that I want to lose 20 pounds before the holidays. That's not attainable. Yeah. What's attainable is being able to uh, change your habits right now. Um, I always say when you go into the grocery store, don't go into the aisles as much as around the perimeter. Mm -hmm. Because in the aisles, you have all your processed foods. Around right. the perimeter, you have your healthy food, you have your produce, you have you know, meats and, and low-fat dairy, so less processed, less processed food. So, mm -hmm. you know, make these little changes that will make your, whatever your goals are, a, a, attainable. Um, and be realistic, which is... <laughs> Don't set yourself up for failure with right, unrealistic yeah, goals, be right? Really, you know, be realistic and say, okay, I'm going to learn about nutrition mm -hmm. now. I'm going to try to live it every day so that I can affect a small change now, and in January, I can start full force. Okay. Um, so then, planning and um, really thinking it through purposefully. Yeah. yeah. And then you want to have that time frame. Time frame <laughs> is very important. Because if you don't give yourself that goal, uh, right. a specific time frame, then you're not going to achieve it because you're going to say, oh, well, I'll start again tomorrow. Right. So say, you know, by Thanksgiving, when I do my Thanksgiving shopping in the grocery store, I really want to make sure I use a periphery, I eat a lot of vegetables, I serve healthy meals. Uh, when I go you know, out, I'm eating healthy foods. And then 
after the new year I'll already have trained myself mm -hmm. and then I can start a little more seriously. Maybe I'll cut out another suite or I'll really, maybe I'll join a gym now mm -hmm. and that way I know I have my membership and I can mm -hmm. start going in January. Right. Um, so you can make little changes now and be within that time frame and think long, long, uh, right. just have a long range goal. So it wouldn't be realistic to start a crazy big diet no, during the holidays, it's never really but you shouldn't throw in the towel either and just say, oh, it's the holidays, right. I'm going to gain 10 pounds, I'll worry about it in January. Crazy diet. <laughs> crazy yeah. diets set you up to fail. Yeah. You see a temporary result and then you go back to your normal eating. What you want to do is change your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You want to learn how to read nutrition labels, you want to learn how to eat uh, protein, carbs, and fat in a way that's going to change your metabolism mm -hmm. and give you, give you the ability to eat anything you want. Right. You want to eat anything you want. You just want to be able to eat it in a way that is healthy and going to make you achieve whatever goals you have. Right. Um, I think it's, you know, it's easy to get overwhelmed during the holidays just because it's you're so busy and you know you're probably baking cookies for people at least I do and then you have them in the house and then you know you go to parties and you so I think thinking about that you can still be healthy during the holidays and finding ways to do it but oh. without really beating yourself up about now, it baking you know, small is, steps is a big thing obviously everybody mm -hmm. bakes and I say when you're baking rat if you a lot of people bake to give mm -hmm. well get it out of the house. Like, Give it all. Make it the night before <laughs> right. and pack it up. If you have kids, have them help you pack it up. Yeah. Make the wrapping almost as important as the baking so mm -hmm. that you'll have it all wrapped up by the door and you're not going to have two dozen cookies hanging out because you could always say, oh, I'll make another dozen. I'll just right. eat this dozen. I'll eat this dozen. Make another dozen. <laughs> so it's three o'clock. I'm tired. I want a cookie. <laughs> about that. And, and just get it out and make it a family thing. And also, I think it's really important if you're making a commitment to being healthy in the new year, let people in on it. You know, tell mm -hmm. your family. I, I, at, my, at my clubs, a lot of my clients don't want to tell their families how how important it is for them right now because they're afraid that everybody's lifestyle will suffer. Yeah. And it's really Or important. if they don't meet their goal, they might right. be and embarrassed like or something. Right. But involve everybody, especially mm -hmm. during the holidays when you're baking cookies. That way your daughter could help you or your best friend can mm -hmm. help you. And that way you're you're on the road to to really seeing success. When you're building a support a network that can help mm -hmm. you. Um, and I, I like I like the idea of having the packaging of the cookies or the breads or whatever it is you're baking be part of the project because it's not just about the food. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's about something gift. much yeah. more than that. And then you're not just, you know, the holidays don't have to be just about food and about eating. I mean, it, on, I mean, we all know there's a lot more food during the holidays than, yeah. you know, any other time during the year. But it doesn't have to just, you can tweak it so that it's not just about the food. Another thing I think is really important is for people to really visualize where they want to be. Mm -hmm. And so, like, visual, visualize yourself thin or fit or healthy or visualize yourself running that marathon. Mm -hmm. And just keep an image in the back of your head of what that is you want to attain. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the most really valuable questions I ask people is, when did you feel your best? Like, yeah. when in your life did you feel like you were the healthiest or the fittest or right. the prettiest or the most yeah. confident? And it's always very interesting to get the answers. And inevitably, people come back to me a few weeks later and ask, well, what did I say? Did mm -hmm. I say when I was 18? Because right. you know what? I felt better after I had my kids, and I had gotten back in shape, mm -hmm. and I felt so powerful and important. Because it's not always about the weight. No, it's, always, it's the accomplishment. It's and right. your whole life, you know, what's going on right. in your life at the time. And it's a powerful thing to visualize. Mm -hmm. So visualize yourself thin and... Or not and, just thin, but fit. Well, fit yeah. or, or healthy yeah. or right. slimmer or... Right. Uh, you don't really have to lose weight to... More muscular. ...to <laughs> get thinner. Right. Um, I think that, you know, making a shift in your metabolism to make mm -hmm. your, your body work more efficiently mm -hmm. is more important than just... I say getting rid of weight. I never say losing weight. Right. Because if you lose it, you could find it again. But if you get rid of it, it's gone. <laughs> uh, but Pack it you, away. If you do the right things 
with your nutrition and then you work out and, and build muscle, then you're building lean muscle and losing body fat. And right. you might lose three inches in your waist and not lose that much weight. Right. Because you're just changing the balance in your body. So the more uh, muscle you have, the more efficiently your body's going to work, so you're going right. to be burning more fat. So, so it just keeps, it's, it's just a positive a cycle. Yeah. I, I also, I think, we have a lot of discussions at home. I have two girls, um, and they're younger, but it, it's frightening how weight comes up. Mm -hmm. And um, not in a negative way, but I, you know, I just, I'm thinking ahead. Like, I just don't want to plant seeds in their minds to be unhealthy about how they manage their, their diet. So we always talk about being healthy and making healthy choices, and it's not about being skinny or it's not about being, it's about being strong, and it's about eating foods that, that you know, make your body feel good and make you strong. Um, you know, I, I, like you said, don't go do crazy diets because your kids see you doing that, and then that plants yeah. an unhealthy seed in their minds that that's what you need to do to be attractive or to be they healthy. They know that eating the right way is going to keep them where they need to be. Mm -hmm. Then, that's then yeah. That's all they need for their whole life. Right, and and to educate them now, and maybe when they get into high school or college, they'll you know they'll eat the Captain Crunch for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> But later, they'll know, oh, I remember, you know, they'll still yeah. have the education that they can fall back on mm -hmm. when they're out of college and, you know, not living that lifestyle anymore. But so, um, uh, so the other part of, the, well, actually, one other thing before we move on to the exercising is when you go out to parties. That's such a huge thing because you have so little control over what's being served and and it's festive and you're having fun and maybe you're having a couple of drinks and then you know so what are some strategies for not blowing everything at a party well first of all before you even go out you should have something in the house you should have an apple or some nuts or something that's going to help you satisfy mm -hmm. so don't go yourself. starving don't go starving don't go really and, hungry and to okay. that point just in planning your healthy lifestyle during the holidays, think about how you're eating. Always eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. You know, people say, well, I'm going to a party tonight, I'm not going to eat all day. Bad idea, because then, then you're like, yeah. how grazing, you know, you, right. know, you really want to control what you're going to eat. Right. Uh, and you're not going to like everything that's there, so you want to be really picky about what you're eating. Mm -hmm. uh, you really want to kind of do the room, you know, just see what's out there and then take one plate and say, I'm going to fill this plate up with the best things, the things that I love, and that's all I'm going to eat. I'm not going to keep grazing. Now, yeah. have a strategy for a healthy party, because then if you'll, even during the party, you'll start feeling guilty if you overeat. Yeah. Well, and if you go and you're not starving, then you should feel full. Hopefully that plate will right. fill you up. You if you make good choices, you yeah. Also, you're going to be talking to people. Right. You're going to be having a drink in your hand, so that'll prevent mm -hmm. you from uh, interacting with food on a two-handed basis. <laughs> so. right. Well, don't stand, don't stand near the <laughs> buffet <laughs> table. <laughs> Go to the far corner where it's don't very difficult to get it, right? right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So don't even take anything until you know what all the choices right. are. Yeah, what you really like. So you don't... You do see yeah. special foods at parties, so you mm -hmm. might want some of that, you know, really interesting dish that you've right. been meaning to try or that you really love, but but don't eat the pig in the blanket because you know what that tastes like. Right. That's never a good thing right. afterwards. So right. <laughs> you really just want to eat the things that are really Right. Nice. That, I like that. I like that <laughs> suggestion because then, then you're really you're controlling eating, what you're eating. Stand on the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. you know, Find dance. someone interesting to talk to. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. yeah. And probably don't have too many cocktails. Uh, or when you, you should of course not have too many. But right. Well. And you should have a glass of water before you have each drink. Okay. Then ah, that way so you you're are diluting it, so your your body is, you know, more able to mm -hmm. deal with it, so it wouldn't have a ne negative reaction. Well, and if you're Try thirsty, not you're not really right. You're drinking something to enjoy a nice glass of wine versus I'm really thirsty after eating that plate of food. Mm -hmm. You've had water, so you're not really thirsty right. anymore. You're just mm -hmm. in, you're, you're just savoring yep. the drink mm -hmm. versus using it to not be thirsty anymore That's or right. whatever. You're not chugging that margarita. Down right. Down. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so the um, 
second portion of this is, the, the, I like the saying, calories in, calories out. So we've talked mm -hmm. about calories in, how to control the calories in, and how to think about it and strategize about you know, where you're going to spend your calories if you're going to treat yourself. So calories out, working out. How, you know, I find when I get so busy and so many things going on, it's very easy to say, I'll skip the run today. Or, ah, I'll, mm -hmm. It's too much effort to go to the gym. I could spend those two hour and a half doing something else. So what are some strategies for battling that? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, even if you, <laughs> it's a mental game, I think. Even if you fit in um, 10 minutes a day mm -hmm. of something that is going to raise your heart rate, um, run in place. Uh, when you're cooking a meal for your family, do squats. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, do let lunge walk around the house. Mm -hmm. uh, if you burned 300 calories a day and you cut 300 calories from your day, mm -hmm. cutting out sugars or any, any other Skipping way. the mocha, yeah, frappuccino, the, latte, whatever it is. Yeah. Those are always bad choices. Um, then you'll see a almost immediate effect on your weight because you're you're already deficient say 600 calories of what you're used to what you're used to right. so you want to you want to try to keep in some sort of a routine mm -hmm. um, go walking by a pedometer mm -hmm. during the holiday season we're running around and we're yes. actually taking more steps than we're used to and so you're going to be building up those steps in the pedometer and you're going to say at the end of the holiday season well I don't want to go back to being sedentary Right. I still want to gain those steps, even though I'm not going to the mall to shop right, or you're not, not yeah. running around with the Christmas stuff. Mm -hmm. So do that now so that come the new year you have that habit of counting your steps. 10,000 steps a day is, is really That's a goal, goal, a good goal. Be, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Uh, you should, could also just, before you go to sleep at night, do some yoga mm -hmm. because that helps your metabolism. And hmm. just that, that relaxing from a stressful holiday season. Really? Just, you'll feel so much better after doing that. You'll wake up the next morning and you'll still have that feeling of health and, yeah. and well-being. So is that that's actually helps your metabolism or it's a mental well, health, it, well-being it thing? It, it, if you breathe properly, you're mm -hmm. helping balance yourself. Hmm. So um, if you do a nice yoga routine that's going to, uh, you know, stretch and right. uh, give you poses that whenever you're in a pose you're doing a static exercise right. and that actually helps to raise your metabolism. Hmm. And, and it helps you to relax from all the and stress, that's the most thing <laughs> which is, is really important yeah. because I think a lot of people when they get stressed out they eat. I yes. do. I mean, yeah. I, you know, uh, you or you don't take too. the time you're so busy you don't take the time to plan what you're going to eat and then you grab something unhealthy when you're shopping or you you know, it just makes you feel better to eat mindlessly because well, you're stressed try out. To have a cut up apple or mm -hmm. some nuts. So a tip would be to bring. Don't overdo the nuts though, because right. I've had I've seen a lot of gals. Oh, but I only eat nuts for, as snacks. But I eat them five times a day, right. and that's very high calorie, high fat. So yeah. You want to try to again cut make good that choices. Down, maybe one or two right. times a day, if you, if that. So now I I've been told that if you if you are like I like to run. So uh, my body's used to running. I don't run very far, but I like to run. <laughs> um, but switching it up yes. is mm -hmm. helpful. Like if you're just trying to get a little boost in benefit of your cardio routine or your weightlifting or whatever it is that you're doing, switch it up. So maybe find something new. Yep. Or change the pace that you're change running. Change the pace. Okay. Um, if you're used to running, maybe try doing elliptical trainer with cross mm -hmm. training. Right. Because then you're going to be using your whole body. Right. Um, try running and uh, doing sprints and walking, sprints and walking, right. so that you're changing your heart rate. Your the interval. Your interval training. Right. Yeah. Now, you're, um, you have a new program at Ladies Workout Express, the Gravity. It's called Gravity Central. Right. Gravity Central, yeah. It's, uh, and this is something new that I, I, we have a picture. Hopefully, there's a screen popping up showing the equipment. Um, uh, yeah, gravity training talk about that a little using, bit. using um, an adjustable incline resistance training. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do is we have a free, if we have a free gliding uh, glide board. Mm -hmm. So that's what the people are sitting on is the glide board. It moves, slides back and, and forth. Their body, they're using your body weight against the pull of gravity. Mm -hmm. And that efficiently helps you uh, do simultaneously work 
multiple muscle groups. Mm -hmm. And because you're on a, on a glide board that is actually on an incline, you're using all your cable stabilizer muscles as mm -hmm. well. So it's an amazing core workout. So right, it's a full body, all really. Besides muscle mm -hmm. training, you're doing a really great core workout. So it's, it's a very efficient uh, way of, mm -hmm. of training. And it's a full body workout, but in 45 minute sessions. Right, which is it's nice. Really if you're time dynamic. crunched, it's nice to find something like that, that you can get, you can hit a lot of muscles. Oh yeah, it's, and it's really a personal training. Not be in the gym for two hours. <laughs> right, and, yeah. and it's fun. That and is it's fun. fun. It's it, a group it, thing. You can do it as a group, right? It's really a personal training session mm -hmm. in a group setting. Yeah. So people are doing it now with, um, couples are coming in and doing mm -hmm. it together. Doing it together. Uh, guys are coming in and doing it with a group of mm -hmm. four guys. Uh, it's just really dynamic and a lot right. of fun. Um, so something that you just said prompted me to remember you had made a recommendation when we talked earlier about finding someone to partner with, to kind of yeah, go through this journey with, great. buddying. Um, which I think is great. My husband and I definitely play off of each other. I mean, we don't necessarily work out together. But if I go for a run, he's like, oh, I really should go for a run, you know, <laughs> I really should do something. Shoot, I wasn't, you know, so we kind of, and, but we support each other too. And yeah, we, you know, we, we um, you know, it's not, ha ha, I did this and you didn't. It's, oh, well, well, let's go together. If we can yeah. manage to do it together, it's great. If not, then, you know, um, it's, not, it's nice. And that could be important because if he, say, his pace is a little faster than yours, mm -hmm. then you can achieve that. You can, it's right. something you can strive for. Maybe he wants to do more of interval training so maybe running with you allows him to slow down a little bit and then he can do some sprints yeah so that's a good idea actually together might be right a good idea for both of you to break out of where you are now. right which i think you know i definitely have a very steady pace and it's funny because when i do get a chance to run with him which unfortunately is not very often but when i do I always feel terrible because when I go by myself, I can do like my normal routine right. and then when I go with him, I'm sucking wind because mm -hmm. he's faster than me, like mm -hmm. you said. But we but find a happy mean, medium. It's not, yeah. It's not bad to do that. Right. right. Which is good. I mean, yeah. it is good. You're right. It's good. But it's, it can be frustrating too because yeah. you think, gosh, I felt I like I was in really day. good shape and then I ran with my husband and I I'm do not. I do every day <laughs> from uh, members who run or, or yeah. do programs with right. their spouse or but it pushes rather. you, and no. I think your point is, no. don't, if you're so comfortable, then maybe you're ready to Break out. do something new. Yeah. So. And this gravity training is great because um, it, it allows people to train in a way that they've never trained before. Mm -hmm. And because you're, you're basically lying down most of, or yeah. seated right. most of the time, yeah. um, which is kind of funny because it seems like it's almost impossible, but right. you're, you're in a very safe and comfortable place so that you right. can really challenge the muscle groups we're working. Um, they use it. It's so safe that they actually I do I can do post rehab training on it as oh, well. Wow. So even though it's so dynamic and efficient, right. it's very very safe. It's safe, so, which is um, important. I have people of all levels. Mm -hmm. Plus each class can be uh, broken up so that everybody gets their own GTS system and they can level it to their ability. So okay. I can have an elite athlete and an 80 year old woman in the same class. Right, which is great. And I do have a 70 year old yes. woman who's in one of my classes. Oh, that's great. Fabulous. That's yeah. great. So it's tailored specifically yep. to every person. And I also person. do sports specific training. Right. So, so, that, so if you're trying to get better at your tennis up, game or whatever it is, golf, that's great. Um, so I think one of the big things, there's, there's a couple things that we talked about, and I seem to have a theme in going this year on taking small, achievable, attainable steps instead of trying to you know, do everything at once, which I think is what you're saying, you know, just pick yeah. very specific things, things that you can do, things that you can measure, you can measure yep. and just start building them into your routine, into, um, lifestyle. into your lifestyle, you right, don't think of it as a diet or as if yeah. something you're going to do for the next two months and be really done, it. don't give up anything, you yeah, know, don't give up, don't say I'm giving up all sweets, right, because that's not so realistic. Like, yeah. yeah I mean, enjoy fun. life, right? Exactly. And if you do it in the right way, if you balance your carbs and your fats and your mm -hmm. proteins, you, can, you really can eat mm -hmm. anything you want. And a piece of that is educating yourself, which I think, yes. you know, labels, uh, yeah, make sure you know. Um, make sure you know the, the balance of, people don't realize they can eat as many vegetables as they want. I mean, really, yeah. I tell people eat as many vegetables as you can carry. And mm -hmm. just put that 
with all the other things that you love so that that's going to help you fill Fill yourself up. up. So you're not Um, not overdoing other things. Overdoing, Mm -hmm. say, the breads or things like that. Right. So I, on the, on the note of educating yourself, I have this book, which I try not, I mean, I think once you do your port, like once you, you, one of the things you talk about also, which we haven't mentioned, is actually tracking what you eat. Oh, so you important. have an idea of, you know, is a cup of cereal, are you, you sh- your portion is a cup of cereal, but you're actually eating two cups of cereal and you don't realize right. it. It's, yeah. You know, if you take some time to actually, it's a pain, but if you, well, you only do, have to it, do it, once. If you, you look, know. If you look at what a cup looks like, mm-hmm. you don't have to measure it all the time. I and then your own cereal bowl. All the yeah. Time. They actually sell cereal bowls now that are measurable bowls. They have the measure in them, which I think right. is great. It's great. So that you just pour it in yeah. and you know that you're not but overdoing it. But just think about mm-hmm. portion size and eat off of a smaller plate. Smaller plate, mm hmm. Uh, I have my grandmother's china from way back. And their dinner plates were like our salad plates. Yes. Which is what it actually really should, what you be. should be. <laughs> eating off of. So eat off yes. the salad plate. Right. And that's enough. That's, that's yeah. a great portion. Right. Uh, if you're going out to eat, immediately pack up half of it yeah. and say, I want to take this home. So smaller portions or reasonable portions. Right. And then more frequently. So the other thing is, you know, the five. Every four, every five hours, four to five hours. You want to four, eat breakfast. Yeah because that's jump-starting your metabolism, mm-hmm. it's giving you the fuel that you need for mm-hmm. all your activities so after day. And then every four to five hours, eat a, yeah. car- a small portion of carb and a protein and a little right. bit of healthy fats. Mm-hmm. And you should not have any trouble right. at those parties. Because you won't be starving. You won't be starving. You won't need, all, you won't yeah. need to eat a whole plate of food. So I just thought it would be fun, to, the typical things that sometimes you see at a holiday party to make, just for a little education on, on what's, what's good for you and, and what the choices are going to be. So if you go to a party, eggnog versus wine versus beer, which would you pick? The wine. The wine. You know your Sip stuff. Sip the wine. Yeah. Sip the wine. Mm-hmm. Eggnog, a typical serving of eggnog has 270 calories. That's like practically a snack meal. Yeah. And it never really. And they're not good calories. Yeah. Wine, a small glass, is 90 calories. Mm -hmm. And beer, a bottle, um, an average 16 ounce bottle is 185 calories. So if you have to pick and choose, wine is a good choice. So if you're trying to make smart choices, pumpkin pie versus apple pie. Versus cookies. Well, it depends. I mean, one cookie. Let's say two cookies, because no one's going to eat just cookies, one cookie. Probably, I would say the apple pie. Actually, I think because of the crust, the apple uh, pie is the worst. Really? Apple pie is 295 calories for a eighth of a pie. Pumpkin is 230, and two cookies uh, is 260. I pumpkin pie was made with cream. That's I think it's because of the crust. It has yeah. one crust versus two. Yeah. And this is the one that's the kicker. This is, we'll end on this one. Well, maybe if we have time for the other one, we'll do it. Uh, a blueberry muffin that you would get at a typical don- donut shop versus a McDonald's Egg McMuffin. Both sound, all, sound I bad. I think the Egg McMuffin is actually the better choice. It is. Yeah, those. An Egg McMuffin, muffin is almost 200 calories, calories less yeah. than the muffin. So if you're going to get a muffin, cut it yeah. at least in half, yeah. if not yeah. into four portions. The last one, cafe, a grande cafe latte at Starbucks versus a cappuccino versus coffee. 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 Grande Cafe Latte has 270 calories and 14 grams of fat if you use whole milk. It's crazy. Yeah. So the point is, educate yourself so that you know. Yes. You know, if you're out shopping, then maybe yeah. get the coffee and coffee or instead of the... the cappuccino is kind of in the middle. Yes, so the cappuccino is really not so bad. Yeah. If you really need the froth, go for the cappuccino. With skim <laughs> milk, not right, whole milk. Right, right. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I, the, the point is just to, to be smart about what you're eating. Um, control your portions. And you can have a healthy holiday. Yep. And enjoy the holidays. Don't beat yourself up. Exactly. Yeah. Set all these things in motion. Yeah. And, and do that visualization so that you know where you want to be. Right. And then just enjoy yourself. And at the end of the season, you'll already you'll be, be set, set up for a good holiday. Mm-hmm. I'm Sarah Connor. You've been watching Life and Style with Sarah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lisa, thank you for sharing you for your knowledge. Me. I want to wish you the best of holiday seasons. I hope they are very healthy but most of all, very happy.
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next month. Good night.